Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I've been wanting to make for quite a while. It is all about like confessions of a dancer and like things I experienced in competitive dance. So if you guys know what Dance Moms is, like that's the type of dance I would do. I would also do ballet and modern at school and it was more like artsy and like meaning behind dance. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. If you guys know, you know, if you don't just, I'm gonna be talking more about like competitive dance. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed and also turn on the little bell. A lot of you guys have the notifications on, which makes me so happy. So thank you guys so much. And also follow me on Instagram because I don't know why I'm actually quite mad at that app. Like the favorites, the everything, like, oh, why? Anyway, um, I guess without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. So the first confession, I sweat so much and I know that like a lot of other people do too, but like I felt like mine was just like on a different level, especially with doing anything like physical activity esque. I don't know, but um, if I run, if I do cycle, if I don't know, just sitting here, like I already am light sweating. Like, I don't know why I just sweat so easily. So let me know if you sweat a lot down below. There's just some people that like didn't sweat a lot. And I was just so jealous because I felt like I was working my ass off and that's why I was sweating, but who knows. The next confession that I wanna make about dance is the false eyelashes. Like, oh my gosh, it was so funny because in competitive dance, like you have to wear like glam makeup, more like heavy makeup than just like normal makeup. And I think that's why I always hated wearing makeup. Like I never wore makeup um, like for pleasure, kind of like how I do now. Like if I want to wear makeup, if I want to get like, you know, dressed up and look nice like for myself, I typically wear makeup now. Back then, as you guys know, like I never wore makeup because my dance makeup was always so uncomfortable and it wasn't pleasant. And I'm not gonna like share the brand of makeup that I used really for dance, but it was one of like the big names. And I just found the foundation to be like really, really heavy. I mean, you have to have heavier foundation for dance and like certain other activities, but it was just uncomfortable. But the eyelashes, oh my gosh. So my mom had to put like false eyelashes on me and she would have to like glue them like, like kind of up and they would just stay up. I don't know if I have a picture. I probably do, but like you can't really tell because it's like kind of far away, but she would have to like glue them up. So like when I was, dancing like I could see because most of the time when I was dancing and I had like these false eyelashes on like I couldn't really see that well like it was impeding vision a little bit so it was horrible I hated them um they weren't comfortable and like my mom didn't even like glue them on my lid because my lid is like a mono lid kind of so it was just horrible and it was looked really really funny but the best feeling was taking off the eyelashes I will say and Putting them on was horrible too, but my mom did a good job and she tried. So that's all that matters. And we had to wear them anyway, so. Okay, this is another one that I don't know if anyone can relate to me on, but remembering combos was so hard for me. Like picking up choreography like took me a little bit and I don't know why, cause like now I can pick up TikTok dances, but like then again, like a TikTok dance is like 15 seconds, not like a minute. So I don't know, it was just one of those things that like, if you were doing like a combo, like I can never remember that shit. Like I would be like looking at the other person. I, I don't know, it was just horrible. And I liked learning combos like, okay. So if I liked the combo, I would do really well. And I would like remember it. If I didn't like the combo, ooh, all was set up for failure because like I would not remember that and I would need to like look at the other person especially like modern class like I hated modern let's just be real like I did not like modern so like learning the choreography and everything was just really hard for me 
Okay, so TAF was also extremely hard for me and it was like disappointing to my mom because my mom was like always like into TAF and stuff. But I just remember like when we would learn combos or like learn parts of our dance for our TAF dances, <laughs> like no one like would remember and our teacher would get like kind of mad, but it was just like so hard to remember, at least for me. Definitely like combos for certain like genres of dance are just really hard for me to learn and remember. So the next one is I did not really like hip hop and my parents always said I was like good at it, but I just didn't really like it. I don't know why. I liked more like the jazz, like dances to like pop music or like musical theater-ish type dances. I don't really know. Um, I should know because like I was in the field for so long, but the field, oh my gosh. I was in the sport. Yes, I consider dance a sport, just so you know. So I did not like hip hop and I don't know. It was just one of those things. And that's a confession that I can make now. Okay, so I already touched on this, but I wrote it down in my notes, but it says never remember tap. Like I could never remember tap to save the life of me. And I don't know why I liked tap all right. It was fun, but I just wasn't really about it. I also hated doing solos, like being on the stage alone was just not my thing. And I feel so bad because my parents spent like so much money on solos for me. And it was a good experience, like having that, like being on stage alone. But I just remember not liking it. And I remember talking with one of my friends and we both agreed, like when the music would start, like we'd be like, oh, it's almost over. It's almost over. And then like you get to a certain part and you're like, yes, it's almost over. You're halfway there, you can do it, you can do it. And then when it's finally over, it's so, like there's a relief. And I don't know, I feel bad. And I liked my solos, but I hated being on stage alone. So I don't know about like dance now. I'm sure it's like come a long way since like I've been in the industry, in the field or whatnot. But like, I definitely did not have like a ballerina body. Like I've always been like, obviously shorter. I've been like, thicker. Um, I wasn't like long and lean, like, you know, some of my friends were. So that was always hard. And I think that's part of the reason why I like discouraged me from like doing professional dance, even though like I didn't have a passion for it either. Like I love dancing now, but like I dance for like fun, like on TikTok, you know, but I mean to be like a professional and stuff and like, remember the dance like for real like for an audience paying like i don't know if i could do that always had this like thing in the back of my mind that was like oh you don't have really like a ballerina body and like you know in certain circumstances like you're just not the vision they're looking for which is okay but that's just another thing that i wanted to bring bring up um, but I'm sure that it's changed and hopefully it's changed by now. Also, I wanted to say that like, I'm so thankful that like my sport, my studio, my school, like there was never a, like a weight requirement, which is so good. Cause I feel like if there was like, that could really spark like, you know, unhealthy behaviors. But luckily, like that's a really good thing that in my experience, like we did not have like you know, requirements that we would have to meet, which is good. So that's a positive and I did want to like mention that. Another thing that I wanted to confess was that at bar, like I never could be on the end of the bar. And the reason why is because I can never remember the bar combinations. Like I would need to look at the person in front of me. So like, you know, when you're doing your like right leg and your left hand's on the bar and you're like doing your tondus or whatever, and then you would have to like switch to the other side. <laughs> like I would need someone in front of me like at all times. And when I was put on the end, like I was suffering and then like trying to like look to see, or if there was someone in front of me and I could see them, then it was like fine. But if I couldn't see anyone for a bar combination, oh my gosh, I was a lost cookie, man. I also wanted to confess the real reason why I like stuck with dance for so long, I think. Not only was it like good form of exercise, it was kind of artsy, but also like I loved my friends and I really just like wanted to dance with my friends and have a good time like after dance and stuff. I really did dance for like the community, my teachers were cool, and I just liked the community aspect of it. 
So that's another main reason why I did dance. It wasn't like necessarily for like deep passion. I just wanted to include that in this video as well. Also, some of you guys may be wondering like is a real competitive dance like Dance Moms and the answer to that question is yes and no. So on Dance Moms, everything was a little bit more like drama, more dramatic, obviously for TV. But like in some instances, like there were moms that didn't get along. And then there were moms that like, you know, would try to speak for their kid. And it was just like in an inappropriate time. There were, you know, the people that were probably considered more negative. There were moms that like did get into fights, but it was never like physical. I mean, maybe it was, I don't know, <laughs> but there was an instance where like a mom made a kid cry. Um, so there was like instances and, you know, there was like rivalries, not like rivalries, like as in like horrible, but there were like high competitors within people like, I mean, I always felt like I had a competitor type person, um, but no, we were not mean to each other and like, we're still friends. I mean, I don't know, we're not really friends, but like, we're still like cordial. Like if I were to see her, she doesn't even live in the state anymore, but like, if I were to see her, then like, obviously like, we would get along. Like, I don't know. I think it's just more of a personal thing. Like, I don't know what that girl felt, but anyway, there's some instances and parallels to Dance Moms, but it's like, it's the same but different. It's just like on a lesser scale and it's not being aired to like millions of people and it's not as dramatic as the TV show made it to be. So I hope that answers any questions that you might've had about the show and everything. Also too, I did not like wearing gel in my hair. Oh my gosh, it was like, that was also uncomfortable, especially when you would like sweat. I just don't know, man. Oh my gosh, another confession that just came to my mind. Point. I loved Point so much. It was so much fun. I hated ballet, but like Point was cool because you got to like stand on your tippy toes. But like, I know this is the correct way the Point shoe was supposed to fit on your foot, but I hated the fact that like the sole didn't go all the way to the heel. Like it, it went like, I don't know. It just hurt like the bottom of my foot. I don't even know if they still use paws or like those other types of shoes to dance. Like, I don't even know what do people like wear to dance. I don't know. I should do some more like research on that on my studio's Instagram. But like, I don't know. I, I didn't like those like paw things because like, I think it would like cut off the circulation to like my toes sometimes. And jazz shoes were always like so hard to perform with on a stage, especially when they were new. Don't get me started. Also too, like wearing black leotards, just, I was always, I loved wearing like half tops and booty shorts, kind of like what cheerleaders wear. Um, but then we were still allowed to wear that. I think they're still allowed to wear that now, but I don't know. But like, I hated like the one piece. And tights, ew, tights are just like a no. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Those are just like little side things, but I just don't kind of want to tell like, my own personal things about dance in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.